Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to energy and power signals. So here is another question. We have been asked to determine whether the signal xt is equal to sin square omega ot omega subscript ot whether it is an energy or power signal. So first uh, the two basic conditions which uh, are required to prove whether it is an energy signal or power signal first energy signal the two basic conditions are for an energy signal the energy it should be finite and power it should be zero okay and for a power signal the power it should be finite energy it should be infinite okay these are the two conditions here the signal is xt equals to sine square omega 0 t. So first let us uh, uh, check with the power ok. So the expression of power is limit t tends to phi 1 by 2 t minus t to t xt square dt. So here before we proceed let us just simplify the expression xt square by substituting xt with sin square omega 0 t. It will simplify everything. Okay, xt is sin square omega 0 t okay? and xt square that is equal to sin square omega 0 t whole square. So if you remember 1 minus cos 2x by 2 that is equal to sin square x. Okay? So if we we'll substitute it here it will become 1 minus cos 2 omega 0 t by 2 whole square this. Then we will take this outside 1 by 4 into a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab. So that will become 1 plus cos square 2 omega 0 t minus 2 cos 2 omega 0 t this ok. Again another identity which is 1 plus cos 2 x by 2 is equal to cos square x ok this is 1 this is 1. So if we use this identity here for cos square, so if we use this identity 1 plus cos 2x by 2 is equal to cos square x here for cos square 2 omega 0 t then it will become something like this which is 1 by 4 1 plus here I am substituting this identity here. 1 plus cos 4 omega 0 t by 2 minus 2 cos 2 omega 0 t. Okay. So, this will become 1 by 4 
we'll take LCM as 2 so it become 2 plus 1 plus cos 4 omega 0 t minus 4 cos 2 omega 0 t this much this will become <coughs> 1 by 8 this 2 gets multiplied here this becomes 3 minus 4 cos 2 omega 0 t plus cos 4 omega 0 t this so now instead of x t square we can directly substitute this this is x t square for x t is equal to sin square omega 0 t. So, directly we will substitute this value. So, where we were we had to calculate the power first we decided that we will calculate the power. So, now it will become we will use this expression p is equal to limit t tends to phi limit t tends to phi 1 by 2 t ok minus t 2 t x t square which is we will substitute this value 1 by 8 into 3 minus 4 cos 2 omega 0 t plus cos 4 omega 0 t dt ok so this will become 1 by 2 t ok then minus t 2 t 3 by 8 dt this one minus t 2 t 4 cos 2 omega 0 t dt plus minus t 2 t cos 4 omega 0 t dt this. Now if you uh, have watched the first question related to energy and period, uh, energy and power signals ok the first question related to this there I explained that when we integrate a sine function or a cos function, okay, when we integrate it over one complete cycle, okay, one complete cycle like this, or this is for sine and then for cosine ok then in that case the total integration the total value of the integration is 0 why because the integration is basically the area under the curve ok which we, which we are integrating ok the function here in case of sine the area above the curve and the area below the curve ok this below the horizontal axis they are equal in magnitude opposite in uh, you know negative positive half cycle it is positive for negative half cycle it is negative so the net result is 0 same is the case for the cosine wave ok for one complete cycle the area above the you know the horizontal axis or whatever time axis we are considering the area above and the area below ok that equal in magnitude opposite in sine. So, they cancel each other out here also the net result is 0. I have explained it in detail in that question so I will not explain it again. Uh, so, just to give you a hint 
you please watch the first video related to energy and power signals question number one where I've discussed it in detail so here using that concept the integration of these cos functions over this one complete cycle from minus t to plus t that is equal to 0 here also the cos function it becomes 0 because it is integrated over one complete cycle so we are only going to deal with this it will you know simplify the whole expression so here it is equal to limit t tends to phi 1 by 2t 3 by 8 we have taken it outside it's minus t to t dt which is equal to 1 by 2t into 3 by 8 t from t or upper limit to lower limit minus t so this becomes 1 by 2t into 3 by 8 into 2t here also 2t 2t gets cancelled power is equal to 3 by 8 watts it is a finite value so our guess that it is a power signal i think uh, it is a power signal but still we have to calculate the energy only then will be able to say anything about it now we'll calculate the energy of this signal expression of energy is e minus phi to phi xt square dt so in place of xt square we'll substitute this so this will be equal to limit we can write it as this limit t tends to phi minus t 2 t this is 3 by 8 or we can just write it as this the same thing 1 by 8 into 3 minus 4 cos 2 omega 0 t plus cos 4 omega 0 t dt so the same thing will be repeated cos functions integrated over one complete cycle it will be 0 so we'll be only be dealing with this 3 by 8 dt part so it will be equal to c again the same thing integrated over one complete cycle these integrations will be 0 these integrations will be 0 so here it will only be limit t tends to infinity integration minus t to t 3 by 8 dt which is 3 by 8 dt Three by eight to t t minus t, which is equal to three by eight into two t. Limit t tends to phi, so this will be equal to three by eight into infinity, which is equal to infinity. So here, energy is equal to infinite. Okay. Power is equal to finite value. Power is equal to 3 by 8 watts so it satisfies the condition of power signal okay where power has a finite value which is equal to 3 by 8 watts which we calculated here energy has infinite value so here this is the expression of energy e is equal to minus phi to phi x t square dt we just uh, we just wrote it in this form okay limit t tends to phi minus t to t x t square dt always remember just to simplify the whole thing we carried out this trigonometric expansion simplification x t square we determined this expansion we used it here and again integration of cos over one complete cycle is 0 so we just equated it to 0 we are only left to deal with this 3 by 8 dt part and this is 3 by 8 into 2 t so as t is you know tending to you know 
infinity 3 by 8 into infinity that is equal to infinity ok. So, this is the uh, uh, solution for this question this is a power signal as power has a finite value energy has infinite value ok.